And it is the number 12 team in the country, the Michigan Wolverines, against the Spartans of Michigan State. Perfect day for football in East Lansing. We'll see who's going to come out on top when we come back. Comes out, he's 10 out of 16 on the year. Trying to give Michigan State the early lead. Remember, they won the toss and took the ball, took it right down the field, and now they'll attempt a 36-yard field goal from the right hash. High snap. They got it down, though, and he got all of it on the kick. Michigan State takes the lead at home. Donated that trophy. I don't know if Mrs. Williams carved it, but I voted for it. I, I'm sure you did. <laughs> No gain on that play as Michigan State with their second offensive series. Guys, and still won the game because of Chad's passing. Boy, there's, some, there's some pad popping going on down there. Jamar Adams makes a stop after a pickup of about five. He played like yeah. a, he was a, a Heisman candidate for sure. Boyer with the throw, Thomas with the catch at the 25, maybe the 26, but it's going to be short of the first down as the Rose Bowl. As Aaron Bates, a freshman, is set to punts. And this one could be returnable by Greg Matthews. He dropped it, but it came right back up to him on a one-hopper. A perfect dribble by Greg Matthews. Michigan's got good field position, trailing by three when we come back. Offensively from its own 38-yard line. Mike Hart at tailback as Henry drops the throw. Pumps once, and across the middle he goes. And it looks like it's going to be a first down toss to Carson Butler. Let's get out of Bonnie. Second down along seven. Mike Hart, nice little move in the hole, and here he goes. Mike Hart on the way. Still on his feet. Dragging Spartans to the 11-yard line. If there was any doubt of any problems with Mike Hart's ankle, it just was answered. <laughs> wow. That's some kind of run, huh? Well, he puts a move on in this hole. It just, just watch this. Here comes the fake. You got there the linebacker, and I think that's Jones coming up right in the boom, and it's just gone. He's by him, and there's no chance. Jones is, is a true freshman. Exactly. But, but I'm going to tell you something. He will be embarrassed for the rest of his life. 77 is uh, long. He's getting his guy. He and then, like you said, the freshman looked pretty good to me so far in this ball game. Second down. Henny, quick drop, quick throw to the corner. Touchdown, Michigan. And it's Manningham in the corner. That's Henderson again. Wow. And he beats. Chad Henny put it right where it had to be, where Manningham is the only guy that could get it. And Mario Manningham with his eighth touchdown catch of the year. Well, it's just down here, and it's just going to be a little fade. You're, you, we want our guy to beat your guy. And Manningham beats Henderson. Henderson. And the Wolverines go 62 yards in just five plays. And they cap it off with Chad Henney. His 11th touchdown pass of the year is 81st of his career. I'd agree, I'd agree with that. Here's Hoyer with a throw complete. And that one's out to the 24-yard line. And if they're anything like the official statistician at the 20 on second and 10, Hoyer swings it. Oh, what a hit put on by Chris Graham, the outside linebacker. And Javon Ringer's got ringers going on in his helmet right now, probably. Well, I'll tell you something. Chris Graham read this totally. Ringer is his man. Watch this. When he comes out, he sees him. He's, it's off to your left on the screen. Now watch. Catch. Bang. I mean, that's head to head. There was just absolutely no, no hesitation. Listen. Just at the right time. Ooh. Hoyer tipped at the line. Incomplete. Somebody got a hand on it. Might have been Tim Jamison, I think. And Michigan State's going to have to punt it from deep in their own territory. Not a Sparty kind of day so far. Mixed together. They like one another good enough, at least at this point. Third down for Michigan State. Hoyer out of the shotgun. Got a man in the middle, and he threw an interception. Trying to get it to Thomas. Back coming Michigan. 
And Jamar Adams has got it to the 42-yard line. So there's the first big mistake of the ball game. And this is the third interception of the year for Jamar Adams. Top of your screen right here. Trying to get the ball. He should have seen that safety. I don't think he even saw the safety because he was just hanging back there. At the 42-yard line, let's see if Michigan keeps it on the ground or if they might go for a quick strike. It'll be Mike Hart. He can strike you anytime, I guess, and he's bouncing out of the pile. Mike Hart down the sideline, all the way to the 12-yard line. He never quits on himself, and he never quits on a play. He that, just does not want to be tackled. I know. You know, Chris, when we watch him, we did it three games in a row. His legs don't stop. When you watch this guy run, folks, well, just watch his feet. Forget about everything else. You'll see him in the pile. Watch his legs. They move, they move, they move. He boxes himself back to the outside. His legs never stop moving. And now he finds himself free going down the sidelines. You just love everything about the way this guy runs. Well, earlier he had a 37-yard run to the 11. This time a 32-yard run to the 10. And he sends Butler in motion. And gives it to Mike Hart. Hart bouncing off tacklers, and he's got it down to about the five again. St. Deke and Thornhill combine on the stop. Huge third down right now for the Spartan defense. Henny to the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan. Carson Butler. Perfect strike. Henny second scoring toss of the day. Butler a big target, and Henny with the perfect throw. Here's Butler right here. He's just going to break to the outside. you got three receivers over there. That's a nice throw. You're throwing it over some green jerseys. a 42-yard drive in just five plays. Henny, his 82nd touchdown pass of his career. 14-3 Wolverines. Nebraska over Kansas. Oh, yeah. Is that a little bit of a payback maybe for all those years? All those suffering years. Kansas will remain undefeated, of course, with that win. Saw that graphic there about the offense. Ringer is the tailback. They fake it to him, and Hoyer throws, tipped, almost caught by Thomas. It was intended for Kellen Davis. He looked sharp early and then threw an interception the last time he had the ball. And this time he's not going to get a chance to get rid of it. Terrence Taylor is the guy that got there first. Well, they sent a whole load. They sent seven guys. I'm telling you, they it was just, they waited, they waited, they waited, and they timed this blitz absolutely perfectly to do it. Big runs by Mike Hart with two touchdown passes, and we're at 14-3. Trying to run wide, that didn't work either. Obi Ize knocks down Devin Thomas in a hurry. We've had uh, walk in the have... alleys where you can walk in the streets. <laughs> I like that one. That's the bragging rights. This one's at stake and uh, going the wrong way is Hoyer. Drop back at the 20-yard line. Thinking Rose Bowl. That's what's going on here in East Lansing today. This throw, and for the second time, Kellen Davis almost tipped a pass to himself. Incomplete. Chris Graham was draped all over him, though, and broke it up. Davis so an upset Coach D'Antonio. He wanted more out of his team, that's for sure, in the first half. But as Bob said, they only trail by 14 to 3 is our halftime score. 